go all the way up here. I think we're just gonna kill Hold some on. more. I'll get it. So in the last video, we fought two breakers at the same time. And near on site. And we did a lot of near on stuff. Doing a lot of the side mission stuff. I do gotta say, there's a lot of good soundtracks. Safe there. I, 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 was, I was done for. Holy shit! You know? Thank you so much. Thank you so much! Oh man! Yeah, let them know it was Deacon St. John. They know me. Okay, keep running. Stay out of sight. What happened here? It's all flooded and shit. Nope, you were right. It's, um, anarchists. You found him? Good. Got another report. They hit one of our supply runs coming down from Tumalo. Now you go in there and kill them all like they were roaches hiding under your bedroll. Let them know it ain't gonna be like it was last time, when they had the run of the place. Cope out. Anarchists. Christ. Haven't seen you guys in a while. Damn anarchists. Let's see what you boys have been up to. Things aren't messed up enough for you, huh? Right? Got you. Play it into them!
messed up enough for you, huh? Is that it? You thought you just ran down a girl. Tear that shit out of you. Oh yeah, here's a little chaos for you. How's this for a little energy, huh? Fucking anarchist. I didn't like that. Things aren't messed up enough for you, huh? Is that it? You thought you just ran down a girl. Tear that shit out of you. out. Should have seen that coming. Cope, it's done. If there's any more of them, maybe they'll get the message to stay out of our land. Oh, you're right. And you just got our land. If you're not careful, you might become one of us yet. Cope out. Yeah, don't hold your breath. Oh, what the hell? Uh, that's worth checking out. Clear out infestations. Shit, that's right. I gotta finish burning out these nests. here.
I got a use for you. Pretty big area. I think I found it. Push this truck out of the way and uh, can get in through here.
Another bounty. Shit, squatter patrol. Where'd you get the bike, huh? Do that one when I have a chance. But uh, that means we have to clear out that infestation area, though. Wow. Hey, see. I had enough gas to start my bike. Bet you're here for your bike, right? How's the bike business going, Zanny? Need to tune up. Hey, always good to see you, Deke. Can I help you? Hey, Deacon. What do you okay, need? just stopping by. Need anything else? Can I get anything else for you? What else can I do for you? Okay, sure. You want anything else? Come see me. Hey, how's it going? Sandy. She's alive. Oh. 
Hi guys. How's it going? I'm getting the hell out of here. The whole circle is red. Finally. Yeah, I suppose I could use that ammo now. Ugh, this place is a maze. I guess it's kind of pointless to uh, say anything since I know that you uh, didn't die out here. Just a habit, I guess. But um, coming out here every so often, talking to you, uh, it was uh, the only thing that kept me sane, you know? So uh, thank you. I have to get out of here. Geez, all the way up here is almost three kilometers away. And still, like everybody says. What the hell is a kilometer?
There we go. That should be it. I do it because it's cool. Three point four kilometers away. It's okay. Open up. Deacon! Good to see you. Hey, Need Deacon. Two bullets. How's it going, Buzz? Need some gas, Deke? Uh, looks like you could use it. Okay. Stop by any time. Well, good news is I know where all of them are. Let me get the gate for you. useless. You know, I should probably be on that bridge. did finish burning out this nesting zone. Now, where is it? God damn, it's, it's gotta be close. Burn, you goddamn freak.
got to be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. <laughs> Jesus, you poor bastard. Hope you had that coming. Another nest. Let's go. And he fell over. More bounties. Could make something out of this. Oh, God damn it. Fuse blown. <laughs> Fields, yes. If you don't hurt me, I won't hurt you. Warned you. One of the camps can use this.
this? Guess not. Power's off, figures. Out of gas. Of course. Gotta find some gas. Wow, the edge of the map.
have to find this on the gas, but I don't know where gas is. Jeez, I sure don't want you getting this one. Blow it up! Yeah, no. 
now we're in business. Amazing. Powers off, figures. About due for a flu shot. Oh, another one of those uh, micro recorders. Yeah, wonder what happened here. Oh, there's one in here too. <laughs>
Yeah, Deke. I about the freedom sometimes, you know? Deke. Like, Long time no see. What can I do you for? Anything. Hell, I... Yeah, good. All right. Deke. Take care now. Good to see you, Deke. How's it going, Buzz? Your bike definitely needs some work, man. There. Good as new. Try to make forever a day or two. Should have new shit later. Stop by. Deke, we really need your help. Ricky, hey, what's wrong? I just got a radio call from Jeremy. Jeremy? Givens? He's that kid who wrote in a few days ago, remember the, the group he was with that got wiped out near Tumalo. I assigned him marsh duty, but evidently Jeremy isn't much for taking orders. Okay, yeah, but uh, a radio call, why is he out in the shit? He wanted to prove himself, go on a supply run by himself. Anyway, he ran out of gas near a farm northwest of here. I made a note on your map. Can you find him before... Yeah, before he gets himself killed, sure. <laughs> I'll have a look around. Got good shit in stock today. That's a screamer. Hey, Ricky, this uh, farm, where is it exactly? It's right across from the bridge that leads to the farm. It, it'll be on the left. Okay, you, hold on. You mean the, the Lost Lake farm? Got it, got it. Deacon out. Sherman's camp. Jesus, Deke. Look, he's probably at the gas station trying to pry candy bars out of a vending machine. Look, I'll find him. And there's the gas station. Where are you, kid?
Okay, so you filled up your can. Ah, shit, marauders. Finish this. Yeah. That was a rock. Something's up. <laughs> what the? Something's out here. I'm in here, I'm in here! Alright, kid, hang on, I'm coming.
Well, that's pretty easy. I think a uh, sneak attack. Mr. St. John! Oh, thank God. Thank God. It's just the kid. They, uh, they, they, were, they were talking about. They, they were gonna cut me up. They were gonna eat me. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, you got this? Can you get your gas, then get your ass back up to camp? You got it? Yes, sir. God damn yes, it. Sir. Don't call me sir. It's Deacon. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. That's got to be cold. The only other mission now. Let's see what the old man's got to say. Okay. Lock me out of the northern regions. I, it's the only thing I can do. Except drive around and kill things. You know a way over the Tielson Pass. You told me once that I... I'd... told you nothing. Go on, oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done! After everything I've... What about what you've done, old man? Huh? Sherman's you camp, the things that you, you get did... Out you get out of here! You leave me, me, me What if you could take it all back? How huh? would if you could fix it? The fact that I put Sarah on a chopper, I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved. Mike, that's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole! I don't know, but I gotta try.
All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. All right, you promised me. You don't come back. I got you. Don't come back, eh? <sighs> Shit. Now I gotta talk to Boozer. Time no see. Hey Blair, how are things in the gun trade? All right. Hey, come around more often. We miss you. Bro, well, you're gonna miss me for a while. You here to buy something? Hey, Buzz. Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Fair. Good as new. Mike's looking good now. Be here late. Try to make forever a day or two, will ya? Who the hell's my ratchet wrench? Okay. See you later, Deke. Well, here we go. Last winter, we were up on Farewell Ridge. We were watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. A bunch of goddamn refugees. Yeah. What belongs to them now? We'll survive. Yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving. Isn't living. <laughs> Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it. While we still wore the colors all this time out in the freak show and shit like this didn't matter anymore. Yeah, yeah but I think. 
Last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. <laughs> uh, the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. The uh, we were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> We rode out of farewell without Sarah, without Jack or anyone. I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Said this. You're a nomad again, huh? Yep. I guess I am. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. If she's out there, we can find her. Yeah, Mike, I'm ready. Meet me at the gate. Don't keep me waiting. Yeah, sure, Mike, whatever you say. Don't even see him. Hey. Hey, Big Mike is taking you over the pass? Yep. You really think she's still alive? Billions of people are dead, but somehow she made it. Hey, we made it, didn't we? If I give up now, if I don't... If I don't do this... Well, then I'm just gonna end up like, uh... Like us. Right? Like Iron Mike, like... Boozer? What'd you call us? Campers. Yeah? You go... And you find your woman. You know where to find me. Yeah. And you know what? You know what I think, Deacon? I think that you're you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here, and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. You ready? Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here. you. Jeez, your bike is slow. Fishing once before, you know. Oh shit. I got one. Didn't know what the hell to do with it. <laughs> that sounds like Jack. Oh, he ran a pretty tight club. Where you boys raised some hell back in the day. I don't think you murdered anyone. 
Not in cold blood. It's not murder if they shoot at you first. Hey. How many tourists we used to get through here come summer? A few. Thousands. Too many to count. Highway be bumper to bumper with SUVs and campers chock full of sunburned moms, beer chugging dads, and their snot nosed kids. Goddamn rainbow, floppy hats, Hawaiian shirts, and flippy flops. All summer long they come. A trail of colorful ants from LA to farewell to here. Non-stop. I'm glad I avoided road trips out here that time of year.
This is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the diamond-like valley. I wish you luck. Hope you're right about your old lady still being alive. She is. Well, maybe so. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke. What does it matter if everyone else is dead? Goody, probably another song that's copyrighted. So I'm gonna keep talking, so hopefully uh, copyright doesn't uh, happen. Uh, who knows, it might not be copyrighted. What the hell? Jesus, I don't Mr. know what we would have done without you, man. Oh, come on. Hey, okay, all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Rick. Uh, hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> What? What the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. Freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? Fine. He just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots in a cot. Least we can do. Okay, yeah, sounds good. What about Flores? We can't just leave him. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you gotta. 
You'll be fine. Okay? Let's go. Following you. Well, that's not how I expected to see my first rager. You gotta stick with me, okay? But having some holy, squatters holy out here shit! Patrol picks you up. Could be trouble. What engine okay, do you got, man? Got I it. need me one of those. So, uh, the shoots county militia. Look, man. All I know is they feed me. They want me to salute. And yes, sir. I salute and say yes, sir. How big's your outfit? The camp out here. We got a hundred, maybe more. Hard to keep track. Back at HQ, a whole lot more than that. I'd like to do some jobs, get some stuff from you guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any women? Hell, that what you're about? Well, you can forget it. The girls got rules about that. Frat, fratern, fratern, fraternizing. <laughs> yeah, that. Look, you pull your weight, follow orders. Nobody messes with you. Women, same as the men. Don't matter to the colonel. I'm not. Uh, listen, I, I'm just. I'm looking for some people and a woman that I rode with a year back or so. They would have come over from Silver Lake, and they would have been at one of those Nero refugee camps, I think. Silver Lake? Jesus, man. Silver Lake's been gone a lot longer than that. Yeah, yeah. It's too goddamn easy to lose track of time out of here, you know? Anyway, you guys, uh, do you pick anyone up? Survivors, I mean, from, uh, from the refugee camp? Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? Uh, no, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with a body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting. Well, are you interested? I've been looking to settle down, yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. So... Been Hard to say. Uh, lose track of time out there, you know. So, uh, where'd you get your gear? Ammo. Well, there's a couple of camps I used to do runs for. Bounty hunting, mostly. Freaks? Or men? Both. I had a reputation for being able to track shit down, you know? Well, which camps? Where are they? You know, past the Farewell Valley. It doesn't matter. They're gone now. They're overrun. Uh, Russell said you were there when Silver Lake was overrun. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a shit show, I can tell you. Uh, any survivors? A few. One, two, one.
Here. Take this. Militia script. Camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the Colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Jesus. Jesus, motherfucker, has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it from Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him. So that means that she's got to be here. He doesn't look like militia. Why are you hey, not working Sorry, hard? Uh, Why are you still I, get, I ha haven't seen you around before. L Lucas Monroe. Yeah, uh, I just shipped in, you know. Uh, Deacon St. John. I want well, that. Uh, take a look around. I, I, I got all kinds of bike parts, if, if you got credits. Yeah, thanks. You're just looking then. Oh, yes, sir. That that that's a good one. Oh, okay. Yep. A good piece of equipment right there. There you go. Oh, okay then, yep. stop by it. soon. Keep it together. Hey. Moving, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. around here? Name's Ava Bergstrom. Friends call me Bergie. Deacon St. John, yeah, I, I just got here. Well, Deacon St. John, you do your job and we'll get along just fine. How's that? <laughs> yes, ma'am. See you later. Good day. You are new here? I am Rumi Ikeda. Deacon, Deacon St. John. You're, uh, you're the bounty collector around here? Yes, of course. We welcome anyone who will work to make the area safe. Good, good. Oh, okay. Okay then. Goodbye. Let's work, people. Keep moving. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. That's all I got for now. Hey, hey, uh. hey there. Hmm. Yep, I, I, I can fix this right up. Petrol where I come from. I guess it's gas to you.
All right then. I'll see, see you later. We need to get some credits here so I can get some stuff. Holy crap, they got good stuff here. Hey. Uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, um, man, name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit! Deacon St. John? Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. Alright, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man? You playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, mm -hmm. uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've been... been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> Uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Jesus, that dude's fucked up. He wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. <sighs> come on, Sarah, come on. Where the hell are you? You're here. Somewhere. Maybe in these tents. Maybe in here. The infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? Nope, not here. Check this one. Ah, damn it, she's not here either. Cute lines. Oh, God, I'm glad Sarah and I never had kids. Losing them must have been... It's gotta be the one. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? Shit, not here. Oh, God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but. Right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. Not could it? St. John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. On my way. Ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. The wasteland out here. So what the hell happened back there? I mean, it looks like a forest fire, but the stumps are charred. So that means that means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades, then burn the slash. From the outpost, we can see a horde coming along before it reaches us. What? You're gonna burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? A war? You've been out in the ship. You've seen the wars. The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our army. It's gonna take way more than an army. We have a plan. The Colonel lets you join. We'll fill you in. Oh, Silver Lake. You asked about survivors. Are you looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look. There were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that.
interesting. Captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? Couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so, uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. You, uh, <clears throat> you said he stole rations? Ammo? Yes. <sighs> this is an MRE. Eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Wait, over here. What'd you find? The fence has been cut. And the rust. So it was cut recently? Yeah, come on, this way. Hey, hold on for a second. Look. Over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah. We're in luck. <sighs> this way. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Uh, you find something? Yeah. Shell casing. Recently fired. He, uh... Well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on. Down here. Go on, get out of here! What are you doing? Ever work for you? Yelling at a wolf? Yeah, depends. On what? Look out! Take a look at this thing. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? <sighs> That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. You guys got a lot of wolves out here? The ones that aren't infected, I mean? Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid growing up, 
There were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Yeah, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, what is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that? Yeah. Wait, get down. We'll swarm. You're a grave site. This one's marked on our map. They're scattered all over the region. Yeah, maybe that explains why uh, Vasquez came through here. Let's go around. Exactly what I was thinking. St. John, this way. Yeah, right there with you. I gotta say, they are getting tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. You just gotta keep moving. You gonna join the militia? We must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, um, put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them, just in this part of the state alone. Oh, that's good somewhere. All right, where now? Keep at me. Wait, you're not out here to fight freaks. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold on a second. There with you. I gotta say, they're getting tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take off Yeah, I've done it before. You just gotta keep moving. Well, look, if you're gonna join the militia, you must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being the shit, killing freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, um, put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them. It's just in this part of the state alone. Alright, where now? Keep it in east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hope. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Huh. No, but he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The Colonel will fill you in, if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, wait, hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Oh. Wow. That means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there, what would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. 
Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. Do you see your man? Yeah. That's him. Well, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! On, what do you think? Oh, no, let's see about that. <laughs> oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> you see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Something's here. if you have to.
Easy, easy, I'm not gonna, I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. Stay the hell away from me! Hold on, hold on now. We're not with them. You think I give a damn who you are? Okay, okay. What was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Captain Corey? Come in. This is Corey. We're here. Heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh neutralized. Uh, Hold your position. Curry out. Come on. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you passed. Oh, you ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? So, St. John, where did you serve? Before the ship went down. And you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover and advance tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? We try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, it seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. <clears throat> like I said, you got a good eye. 
Was in the Air Force ten years. Part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. What do you think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. God, there's a lot of planes. So, you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. no. It sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So, maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Oh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> Her name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. Speak for yourself. After you. All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chivalrous what? No, it means, um... Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. <laughs> hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. <laughs> what would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw fighter? I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. No, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon, I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in. Oh, well, oh, oh, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there. That's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. <laughs> I bet. So, you know this is way past my bedtime. Oh, I know. Come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, you, uh... Well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... 
Ugh, it's just this project, and we've got these execs flying in from New York to auto progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <sighs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. Hmm. You dragged me out in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, DQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Yeah, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. God. God, look at that moonlight. It is, it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. Oh, I see you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh oh, -uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it. And we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one... The second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Ah, uh, you know what? <laughs> I think you probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little fangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. Well, it's Morier Invictus. Hmm. It means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me like a real ring, though, right? Not that this one's yeah, not absolutely, great. absolutely, because, I, I just you know, thought, that's my ring. Right, it's Is your that, ring. Right. Something more simple, without fangs. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
I'm sorry. No, it's your room. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello? Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. I don't think he did the ride her as much as he rides his bike thing. I think she's the one that did that. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. Seems to be lying a lot. What did you drop? Holy shit. I'm sorry, what's that? Do not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. When phones went away, when the cloud went away, our photos went with them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school, dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. Seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in farewell. You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. <laughs> Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of a preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. This side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Yeah, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hot!
At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. The Almighty forgives Amen. this. But here, on this woman's face, are the footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. You. Yeah. Fuck you. Come oh. on, gorgeous. Let's go. Goddamn redneck asshole. Get off of me. <laughs> swear God. What about Get you? Uh, you Taylor. Uh, uh wait. And um, him. no, sir. I uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone. Nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid was at, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States? against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Dismissed! Walk with me, son. Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. He must think highly of your combat skills. Oh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the dog take a look at you. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run-in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? How is fit to serve? Blara bien. You doing runs out in the shit? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Doc. Uh, yeah, tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions, because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in 
God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Sir? This place. I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake? Uh, Wizard Island? I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story. I mean, uh, that... It's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally, we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Let's get you some work. Wow. All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an Ark, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition. Every type, every caliber. Wow. <clears throat> this is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. <laughs> and as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just I the ability to survive in the shit no. or use a gun. Yeah. 
Are you up for it, son? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Feet the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. Saint John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal Saint John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit. He's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Mm, you working on napalm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think... Our path to victory. In here. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? <sighs> Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform. And, uh, eight... Turp turpin turp Get out. Shit. Get out! Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, hyalatic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Stand at attention. Dad. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Oh my goodness. Wait. Wait. Wait a second. I I don't understand. I couldn't I find you. You had died and I uh No. We were overrun. Was and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and Farewell I was overrun. They said that everybody the was mountain. dead. And I didn't think that I never thought I would see you again. Listen, now we can run out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come Please, on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they, are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. 
So you see, this is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. <sighs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me? If the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna eat this. Come on, man. <sighs> Corporal, see you around. Corporal, need something? New guy? Name's Caleb. Caleb Tomlinson. Deacon St. John. Yeah, I, I just rode in. Oh, cool, man. Hey, listen, if you need something for your ride, you come see me. Between us, Lucas, the Canuck over at Diamond Lake, he'll rip you off, man. Great, well, keep that in mind. Can't seem to get anything from you yet. Uh, Corporal, later. Hmm. Gotta do this and then I can get out. Need a hell of a lot more camp credits though.
This is gonna be annoying to do. Very, very annoying. I have to come up here a lot. Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood. Fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. Got chest for that. Just showing up. St. John, Captain Curry to Deacon St. John. Please report to me at Diamond Lake. Yes, Captain, I'm here. Uh, copy that. So the uh, bat uh, supreme bat axing that I got. This is one of the strongest weapons you could get, apparently. So I'm going to keep it forever. I got him. He's on his way back. Dick, what happened? Well, he ran into some drifters who were... Oh, Jesus, let's just say that he was on tonight's menu. Oh, my God, cannibals? Well, I honestly didn't stop to ask them. Deacon out. Oh, my God, I've always wanted to see one of these again. Oh. 
is St. John. Court Burrow, St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this, is this thing even work? I don't think it's real. Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John. Hey, uh, I mean, you know, nothing. It's just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the whole swearing in thing. That was some shit, am I right? <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. What? Hey, hey, what, what, the, what the hell you, you got, you got you doing? Uh, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees. All of them. What are they? Sorry, sorry, what are, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit. Buying supplies for the officers, working on. Oh shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on, uh, on uh, bio weapons. Uh, shit like that. Burn them freaks the ground, am I right? What radio are you on? Are you sure that you're not being monitored? Oh, shit! Huh, that's what I thought. Gotta go. St. John out. Actually, you know, I think I'm gonna... Before I do that... Corporal Deacon St. John! <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey! Taylor, what do you need... There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. Alright, we got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? Taylor, I'm kind of busy right now, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so... Words out of the camp. The trucks are making their way in. Right under the colonel's nose. <laughs> it's good stuff, too. Man, do you know anything about that? I don't do drugs, Taylor. So no, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't either. I'm just... I saw this guy. One of the new recruits acted all suspicious. He writes in it and out of camp all the time, and so I thought I thought I'd follow him, right? <laughs> Let's see what the hell he's about. Ah, oh, goddamn. Taylor, listen to me. You just go to Corey, let him handle it. You got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the call. Yeah. Okay, Mr. <laughs> St. John, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, uh, out. <laughs> Getting free. The feds were whining babies, suckling at the teeth of us taxpayers. <laughs> Dumb as they were, we can't underestimate them. You gotta know that Chief Buckety Bucks are hiding out there in some bunker, waiting for the freaks to die off. They didn't save the hungry, or their precious constituents. You know the real reason they're in power. They saved the elite, the men and women who played ball. They're sitting underground, probably drinking champagne while they wait. Meanwhile, we're out here dying, suffering. Also, the feds can hit the damn reset button. But they didn't account for one thing. We're not as stupid as they thought we were. And once they emerge to reclaim the world when the freaks are gone, we'll be waiting. Oh, yes, we will. And they'll be sorry they ever came out of hiding. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Ah, oh, Jesus, even all the way down here, I can't get away from goddamn Radio Free Oregon. That's what I'm saying.
can't believe it's taking me this long. I swear, if this is actually it, I swear. Oh, it took me so long to realize this. Let's see what we got in here. I just killed that breaker with melee. Oh, <laughs> 
Get in. Ah. I can fix this. It should do it. Sure you need the small pipe and box and nails that I collected come in handy now. zone later. Uh, murdering drifter camp. I've seen these assholes before, and I gotta take them out. Deer crossing. Well, guess you don't have to be worried about traffic no more, do you? for me to see anything. bike right there. Colonel, Corporal St. John reporting in, and I'm at the last location where Lieutenant Norwood was seen. Uh, he seems pretty fortified, sir. Are you, are you sure you want me to tackle this alone? Just follow orders. Yeah, get him! Garrett out. Yes, sir. Okay. Hold up! Move in! Here, catch! 
minute, you in here? St. John reporting in, and I'm at the last location where Lieutenant Norwood is seen. Uh, are you sure you want me to tackle this alone? Yes, sir. Fucking A. Okay, come on, you assholes. Let's do this. You in here? Hang on, I'm coming. How the hell are you doing, Lieutenant? St. John. Thank God I've given up hope. 
Oh, yeah? Well, a good friend of mine once told me, never give up hope, because you lose that. You may as well just pack it in. Keep that in mind next time I'm ambushed by a dozen squatters. Yeah, okay, all right, listen. Camp's clear and your bike's still in one piece, so can you just get back alone, huh? Yeah, I can handle it. Thank you, St. John. Sure, now get going. Go. That is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Save scrap. should be it. Let any of them get out of here alive. Bunch of rapists and murderers. Yeah, come on! Get after him! Not the rest of you.
think now, huh? Somebody shoots back. How do you like that? Colonel, sir, reporting in. It's, uh... Jesus, it wasn't easy. But I got her out. Lieutenant Norwood is out. Fuck. I... have died. Colonel, sir, reporting in. It's, uh... Well, oh, Jesus, it wasn't easy. But I got her out. Lieutenant Norwood is out. Good work, Corporal. I'll send a patrol out now. She said she could make it on her own, so, uh... I'll radio in later, make sure she made it. St. John out. Checking in on Lieutenant Norwood. Colonel, sir, reporting in. It's, uh... Well, oh, Jesus, it wasn't easy. But I got her out. Reporting in, it's uh, well, oh, Jesus, it wasn't. But I got her out. Lieutenant Norwood is out. Said she could make it on her own, so uh, I'll radio in later, make sure she made it.
Come on. Colonel, sir, just checking in on Lieutenant Norwood. I've just read her report. She claims that you took on an entire drifter camp. Saying something? Corporal, I've just read her report. She claims that you took on an entire drifter camp single handedly. Well, I wasn't about to leave her in there alone, sir. Very good, Corporal. Captain Curry has put your name in for a promotion. I'm beginning to see why. She said she could make it on her own, so uh, I'll radio in later, make sure she made it. St. John out. <laughs> Colonel, sir, just checking in on Lieutenant Norwood. Corporal, I've just read her report. She claims that you took on an entire drifter camp single-handedly well I wasn't about to leave her in there alone sir very good corporal captain curry has put your name in for a promotion I'm beginning to see why
That's clear. Now you know how it feels, being on the other end of it, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, where did you hide your bunker, huh? I know you got one. Here it is. Yeah. There we go. Good. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.